There is a man under the gallery there. I mean, under the gallery somewhere there. You order for the talisman from a foreign country, ring, ankashi, but that came to you. You use it for several, and later it disappeared. Why, well, I don't know. The repercussion of it, you have seen it. So come. Jesus love you. Is there. My name is former Dr. Bo Ignatius from Cameroon. I'm the one to confirm the prophecy of a man of God that there's a man who commanded the ring two years ago and oh. the ring disappeared. So the repercussion is now on his children and his life. My children are here. This is a teller's man. This is a completion of the book to confirm what the man of God said. Good morning, church. My name is Spiritual Dr. Bo Ignatius from Cameroon. The woman standing beside me is my wife. I'm here to confirm the prophecy of the man of God last Sunday. He said there's a man under the gallery. He pointed directly to me who commanded a ring from overseas and handkerchief and a book. And now there's repercussion. He should come out. His life is in danger. So I never wanted to come out. I don't know what brought me out until I found myself in front of the altar. So the prophecy of the man of God was 100% true. I have the book here with me. So all this started some 28 years ago. I was not fortunate to be born from a Christian home. Uh, my grandfather was a high priest in my village while my father was an occultist. So I grew up from that background. At the age of 14, I was in secondary school. A strange ill man occurred to me. They were running heter skater for my treatment, but to no avail. So three months into the sickness, my grandfather ordered my father to bring me to the village. I went to the village for treatment. So I was there. I stayed there for some months. In the course of the treatment, my grandfather died. Two weeks after the burial, some seven old people came. The least of them was at least 75 years. They said, my grandfather left a will that I'm the one to inherit him. At that age, 14 years, I had no other option than to accept, but I tried to talk with my father and ask him with my mother that, is it true? They said, it's true. That was prepared for that. So from that moment, I had no option. My father came because my father was based in Boya by that time. My village is some 500 kilometers from Boya. So I was there with my grandfather in the northwest region while my father was working in the southwest region. So they called for him. They came with my mother. They bought a goat and seven traditional chicken. So I was carried behind the house. The goat was slaughtered. And I drank the blood and I was bathed in a river at midnight with that goat and they killed those chickens. They gave me the eight, seven hearts of chicken to swallow. So immediately I swallow. I never, 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 things never became the same in my life again. I was different. I became very violent. From that moment, a serious spirit of loss came to me. As I started practicing, the first three months, I had only four wives married officially, the first year, I had already seven wives. So I don't know what was happening. I was so, just so, so you started practicing as a witch doctor from the age of? From the day of my introduction, they said I had no time to waste because my grandfather left a lot of jobs undone. So how old were you then when you started practicing? I was 14 years of age. So the initiation process took four years. But that four years, I was practicing. Why on initiation? because there was no other person. I was yeah. the only one by that time. At the age of 18 now, I was already full-time witch doctor. Mm -hmm. So people were coming from left and right all over the place to see me because I'm, uh, I'm not only known in Cameroon, but all over the world. They were coming to see me. Um, uh, one fateful day, a general came and met me in the village and said, no, my talent does not warrant me to be in the village, that he wants to take me out. I consulted those, fat, those old people. They said, no, they are already old. I should go out and look for food for them. So they allowed me to go to the capital city in Yawinde. 
So the general rent for me a four-bedroom flat and launched me there. I was working for him. Working for him, he was bringing other patients. That's where I established myself in Yawinde, become known now in Yawinde. So from that time, things were moving very well, as I can say, because people were coming from left and right. Goods were dead, fowls, cows, everything. People were healed, as I can say, but tomorrow there's problem. You are healed today, tomorrow there's problem. You come back, I see give you another alternative. That try to bring this the next day, just like that, just like that. So by that time, I had um, uh, varieties of clearance, but my principal clearance were prostitutes and armed robbers and fraudsters that so usually come to me to seek for my help. As I say, I was a chief priest, so I usually give them charms to destroy minds of people, to confuse people. Yes, for example, a fraudster can come to me that I have a clearance at United Arab Emirates. Uh, so I've been um, talking with him two years ago. We had a pro pro project for two billion. Yes, I will say, okay, give me the name. You give me the name, I work on it. The man will accept everything, and my percentage will come. That's how I've been practicing. Until they will carry me out also, out of the country, to practice. So I've been practicing all over with forces. And arm robber will come. That word, you want charm for gun shoot, above human destruction. I'll prepare charm for him. Uh, he will go. They will shoot him, nothing will enter. And at times, he will disappear. At times, they will bring um, uh, the rope of a dead corpse. I walk on that rope, they will put on people's um, uh, compound. You will sleep with your family, and they operate without any uh, incidents. So that's how I've been practicing. Those are my three main customers for over 28 years today. A woman can come to me and say, I want a man. I will ask why I have a name of somebody. At times, usually for that is a married man. I have no option. I'm there to do my job. So I will be the first now to destroy that marriage first before implanting them as husband and wife. That's how I usually practice. It was so common for me to do. At that time, I was already 11 years as a serious witch doctor in my country. Fortune, unfortunate for me, my father was supporting me spiritually, fell sick, he died. So he left a will that I should not go with him in my village. I should bury him 17 kilometers from my village. I said, why? He said, no. He's trying to protect me and my brothers. I said, no, how? It's very difficult. You know you will not be there. I will not fight those people. He said, he will be with me. So I started the project until I buried my father 17 kilometers, as he said. Returning now to my initiators, they never wanted to see me because my father owed debts from them, spiritual debts. Mm. Yes, they wanted my father to be buried there to use his corpse for certain things. So of which he knew, he slides. So I was a target now. So they started following me. I was banned not to be again in their midst. So I was stranded. In the midst of that confusion, one of my friends who attend the funeral of my father from West Africa, he was based in Ghana, precisely. He came to Cameroon, he condo with me. He proposed to me that after the funeral, we we'll talk. We left now from the village to Boya. We talked very well, he said, okay, he will help me. I was desperate because nobody was coming again. Everything was down by that time. I cannot sleep, I cannot rest. I don't have with my wife, I cannot meet a husband and wife, and out I will have women doing things with them, but with my wife, nothing. Those seven women, nothing. Only outside. Having kids left and right, everything was down. How did you manage to get these women? Those women are patient, they usually come to me. When you are beautiful, you will not go. Because, um, uh, like this one, this is one of the victims beside me. <laughs> they came for consultation, they consulted me, like this one came with a leg problem, like an ulcer. So, by the power of darkness, I treated her. I said, no, you will not go. I just started like a joke. That was all. This is 14 years that she has been with me. The Ugugu power took them for as slaves. Not that I, uh, the spirit took them as slaves for me. She's a victim, the principal victim. Really, because she's uh, really. Now tell us, you said you met a friend who promised was going to help you. What happened? So as I met that friend, we finished the funeral of my father. We came to Boya. That is where the prophecy of the man of God came in. So by that time, he said, I should give my underwears. He will travel with it. I took my underwears and gave to him. He left for Ghana. But he had a contact with some, uh, a particular high priest in China. So he told me that he will not allow me to meet that high priest personally because the conditions are too heavy. And the way he's seen me, I'm depressed. I cannot bear it. He said he will work as a middleman for me. So he took those underwears and went. Two weeks after, 
I had a call that I should go to a T-junction where I discovered this book and a ring. Yes, so at midnight, I took this book and a ring and went with it. At 2 a.m., a person appeared to me and gave me instructions that I should open page four, 24. I will see a brochure, I will read to get the instructions. So I read everything. They said I should look for a plate and a knife and a live dove. So that dove was caught, I swallowed, the I drank the blood and I swallowed the heart. Immediately, a serious spirit of divination came to me that nobody can stand me by that time. I was above human destruction. So as I went there, I met this book and a ring, a red color ring. And uh, I took it at 2 a.m. Somebody appeared to me and gave me the instruction that I should open page 24. I will see a small paper, a brochure, I will read. So I went through the instructions. They said I should buy a plate, a new plate, and a knife, and a live dove. So to have that dough was not easy. The next day, they directed me again to go where I took this book, and I found that dove waiting, me, waiting for me. So I took the dove. I did not complain, but within me, I was complaining. So they answered me because they knew my heart, because I was already engaged with them. So that is it. So I went now and collected that dove, and the dove was slaughtered. The dove was slaughtered, and I drank the blood, and I sold the heart. Immediately, a serious period of divination came to me. That um, uh, I discovered that I'm above human destruction. By that time, I was not myself again. As um, uh, a witch doctor in the past, now a spiritual leader is just for treatment and to do atro atrocity because nothing like that. God don't know things like that now that I'm before the arena of liberty. I'm really regretting, but I cannot. Um, in the past, I was completely happy. So I started doing things performing miracles in my country, going abroad doing miracles. Women were coming, prostitutes were coming. Yeah, I bounced back to form because I was already weak when my initiator abandoned me. So now, as I received this, became, I became very strong and powerful that I needed not their help again. I was now independent, relying only on my friend, giving him details about my performance. For example, my principal customers were prostitutes because in them, the condition they gave me was that I will not um, uh, sacrifice because my friend was already sacrificing human blood. So for me, I will not sacrifice. But um, uh, virtues of people, I mean the manliness of people, will be taken from prostitute to the kingdom. Yes, for more power. So prostitute will work active as a principal source of my um, uh, spiritual revenue. So that is it. So any person that patronizes them is a victim to me. Immediately you sleep with them, you are now in the kingdom. After I meet a woman like that, two, three weeks, a month, two months, your activity will never be the same again. You will start to accuse people from left and right without knowing where your problem comes from, without knowing that we are the cause. So you, if you are a businessman, you will never do business again. If you are a, 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 a civil servant, in your job site, there will be a problem left and right. So those are the things that usually happen to those people. I did this at times. I usually have, I can, um, uh, let's say I will have $20,000 20, in my hand. The next day, I will not have a franc. All those women, even to feed them, there was a problem of which there's money entering every day. I don't know where the money was going. Now, at this time, when I'm talking now before the children of God, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't, my children are not going to school. I don't have anywhere to live. All projects that I started has been stopped. So to prove that I was really in the world. If me, the master, I can suffer like this, they will have triple suffering in their area. Yes. So I feel sorry for them, but I can, by that time, I had no other option. So this woman beside me, this woman, did something that um, uh, we are in the presence of God. I went one day in an operation in one neighboring village in Yawinde, a serious operation with a dignitary. I returned. I found she has installed a certain television in my house called a Manway TV. As I entered the house, the whole house was not the same. I asked her what happened. She said, no, a cable man came into the house and installed a television. She, she had been watching. It's very interesting. Talk with me happily without knowing that I was already disturbed. So I called my temper because I was with people. After they left, she was seriously beaten. And I warned her never to put that television again. Because from that time, that very day, I had problem on my sleep. And those people started warning me that if I should not send this woman out, my life is in danger. So I threw her out. As I threw her out, as she was already in a covenant with me, he cannot be out, she cannot be out. 
she will come in again. I will still send her out, she will come in because there was no way she can resist what we did in the beginning. So you mean since the day your wife installed Emmanuel TV in your house, there have been no peace. That means you have been troubled because of your evil practices. I've never got peace until that day that I went to my shrine. I found that my ring is no more there. The ring disappeared without any knowledge. I looked for the ring. The next day I had to call. Glory be to God. At this point in time, for the benefit of those who are just joining us, viewers all over the world, this confession you are listening to was born out of a prophecy given by the anointed man of God last Sunday service to this man about a talisman he received from a foreign country and a ring, the ring which he refers to right now as um, having disappeared after the Emmanuel TV was installed in his house. Can we refresh our memory again and for those who are just joining us to see what the prophecy spoke about, uh, what the man is talking about right now. Let's watch the screen again and see this prophecy. There is a man under the gallery there, I mean under the gallery somewhere there. You order for the talisman from a foreign country, ring, ankashi, but that came to you, you use it for several, and later it disappeared. Why, well, I don't know, the repercussion of it, you are seeing it. So come, Jesus love you, is there. My name is former Dr. Bo Ignatius from Cameroon. I'm the one to confirm the prophecy of a man of God, that there's a man who commanded the ring two years ago. And oh. the ring disappeared, so the repercussion is now on his children and his life. My children are here. This is a teller's man. This is a completion of the book to confirm what the man of God said. Okay, so tell us, eventually, how did you find yourself in the Synagogue Church of All Nations last week before this prophecy came? It was not easy. The prophecy came. I stood there for over five minutes, thinking back how many patients count on me because my coming here was just for deliverance, to so have rest and to tap from the anointing of the man who got to continue my job. That was my aim coming here. So you mean your coming here last Sunday was to come and seek for breakthrough, for success, and to add more powers to the power you already had to practice your occultic and witch doctor practices. But you didn't know that the power here was the power from above. That is true, brethren, children of God. My coming here was to have more power because I, we in the kingdom, we know this man, the man at the synagogue. We know him because in the whole world, he's the only prophet that talks love, peace, and forgiveness, and faith. Or that talk of money. And those are things that we forbid in the kingdom. We don't want to hear love, unity, faith, and reconciliation. So he's the only prophet. If you hear most of his sermons, he will never talk of words, prosperity, only faith, forgiveness, this, this. So he's the most hated prophet in the kingdom. So we know that he's part, there's anointing on him. So I came here to tap a bit to go now and perform more. Okay. In those days, despite you knew that the man of God, Prophet Joshua, is a prophet of God and his anointing is from above, you never realize what the Bible says, that light and darkness have nothing in common. I never realized because I've, I've went to so many other places okay. that this woman took me. Okay. As I as entered there, the next day we are friends with the pastor. We eat and dine together. They come even for prophecy and give me names to prophesy for them. So I thought that this... Uh, 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 but when you came here, you were arrested. I found a different story. Sorry? I was exposed. You say? I found a different story. I was exposed because I wanted just my deliverance to rest, to sleep, to have peace with my family, and return now performing. And you were exposed instead. Exposed. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Truly, this is the first time I've been to places. This woman behind me, as I've been, I said, carrying me everywhere at time I'm going there to please her. When I go there, I'm delivered. They say it's over. The next day, I will have sexual intercourse with 20, 30 women per night. 
the next day, they say he's delivered. The next day, the pastor will call me and say, I want to see you privately. He'll give me some names to prophesy. I will prophesy and will write it on the paper. When the people will come, he will make the prophecy as if he's the one. So I knew that it was a lifestyle of life. So we are together. Okay, so since last Sunday after the man of God gave the prophecy, you came out and you confirmed it and you were delivered. Can you tell us what are the evidences of this deliverance in your life? Since last week, for, over, for many years today, since um, uh, I started suffering from this repercussion as a man of God said, this is the first week, last week till today that I've slept. My children are resting because they don't even sleep in the house. They are always out sleeping on top of roofs. My wife, nobody can sleep. We don't have any rest. So it's the first time of my life for a long period to sleep like a baby and get up until the woman that was in contact with me since last month has not called me since Sunday last week. That wanted to propose. He had a proposition with me to come in Cameroon on April for recruitment for youths from Marta. So she never called me since Sunday till today. Hmm. So Shall we I'm put our hands together for Jesus? And that anger that you used to have? That anger is gone. I'm now like a baby. And that spirit of loss that I cannot be a day without having sexual intercourse. I don't feel it. And I'm now a father talking with my children, conversing with my wife, making projects. Even without any future, I know there's a God that will take me through. Once again, let's clap for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for the wonderful deliverance you have received. The Bible says... When Jesus Christ enters our lives, they put an end to our past and give birth to our future. Now, your past is over. All things pass away. All things become new. We give glory to God for your life. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Anaba Marie Chantal. I come from Cameroon. I'm here today because the prophecy, the man of God, tell my husband. I'm, I'm Francophone, but I don't know to speak English, but I can manage it. I meet this man through my friend. I'll be having leg pain, and I'll be looking for a witch doctor, to, some person to treat my leg. It, my friend introduced me to him. After that, I'll be having a rich man, a man that will be supposed to marry me. But I don't know what will happen. I don't want to see the man again. I like Elohim. I don't want, I reject the man. I want Elohim. After, if you have a three wife, I'm be number four. People of God, I'm very suffering because they, that man beside me with a witch doctor, a very violent spirit. He's beating me. He can burn you with the iron. He can knock you with the stick. He can, he, he can do any habit. You, you cannot say anything to him. Mm. He bring the woman be, for your front, you cannot say anything. He still with the woman behind you, you cannot say anything. You open your mouth, he will beat you seriously, and you cannot do anything to him. He beat me today. I want to I go out. My heart is beating me like this. If I not come back to him, I think I will die. So you mean even with the beating that you used to receive from this man, you cannot stay outside the home one day without coming back to the house? What, what, why is it that you always find yourself coming back to the house? Because you are, you are inside the charm and the charm controls you. Mm -hmm. After that, I take in, I have a one boy with him. Since uh, 13 to 14 years, I deliver early a one boy child to him. I never take in again. I'm now like this. She so bring me outside picking. You bring the, the child of two, uh, three years picking. You don't give you like that. You are the one supposed to look at that child. You bring another one, nine months. You are the one supposed to look at that child. I'm just taking it like that. I cannot argue. I just take the child. I cannot refuse because you cry the way he beat you on T. With all the beating, you cannot go. Yes, I cannot run. If you go out, the next day I will come back inside my house. Okay. Your husband said he used to have 
different people come in to consult him. He will do charm for them, like many prostitutes, arm robbers. So those prostitutes that used to come visit him, what, what does he used to do with them? The, 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 the moment I go to the, the, the house of Juju, we're making that medicine. I'm seeing women, men, standing big line ladies that are having fowl, a goat, a dog, they are cutting all the things, take the blood and put it inside the water. We bathe the people, I mix it with perfume, bathe the people, we eat. After I see the people, very, uh, some, that, that I give them time to go stealing, doing that one they wanted to travel, go about, to do all the chimes for the people. Then after that, the moment that you come back to the house, this moment you can laugh with you. After the spirit comes, it started beating no reason. If you do any small thing, it, uh, it, got, it cannot allow you and it will beat you. Beating from him, prostitute, you can sleep the woman beside you. You cannot you, you have any remorse. You cannot even change. You cannot even do anything where it will please you, even beg you. If you do anything where he has tell you to do, that's all. Nous entendons le témoignage de cet homme qui était un sorcier. Il nous raconte comment sa vie a commencé. Il a dit dès l'âge de 14 ans, quand il a perdu son père, il a été amené au village. Et quand il est au village, des anciens du village, sept hommes très âgés, l'ont visité. On lui demandait de prendre la relève de son grand-père. Alors a commencé un rite initiatique pour l'initier aux pratiques occultes. Ils ont dit d'abord, ils ont fait un sacrifice, ils ont tué un animal, il a bu le sang, ils l'ont lavé dans la mer, et là, ils ont commencé les pratiques occultes. Ok, so you mean all this while when your husband will receive this different women, he will carry them to your matrimonial bed in your presence, and you cannot say anything. It's true. If it's you true. challenge him, he will beat you. He will beat you. Mm. you. Cannot challenge him, you cannot say anything to him, he will beat you. Okay. Leave you to do what he want to do. That's, that is it. And after that, after I deliver my child, I cannot, I cannot have sexual relation with him again because he want to come to me. His skin was weak. But in the night, I see him physically sex play, uh, play love with me. In the dream? In the dream. In the dream. In the dream. He can meet you in the dream as a husband, but physically he could not again. No, yes. He become weak whenever he comes to you. Yes. Hmm. After that, I'm showing a child sucking my breast, sucking my breast, having sexual relations with him in the dream. Okay, so since after your husband's deliverance last Sunday, can you tell us what are the changes you have seen in him? After uh, uh, last Sunday, the man of God prophesied to my husband, I will know because all the things, I will know because I know all the things that are passing through. I will know that this is God. I know that the God who has saved me must take me through. And last Sunday, I saw the man of God prophesy to him. I say, Hallelujah. That must suffer if he passes through today. Okay. So, so tell us what are the things that have changed in the life of your husband since after the prophecy and the deliverance last Sunday? Yes, yes, man of God. Hmm? So what are the things you notice now? Those things you used to do before. Uh -huh. Tell us now, what of now after his deliverance? Okay, since that deliverance on Sunday, my husband is behave now normal. He cannot go uh, behind, answer the call. He's sitting in the house, with mo no more shouting. He's quiet, he cannot go out. You know what, I'm looking up and down to look at a bad woman. He's quiet now. He's very quiet now, ladies, in the house. Since the, the man of God prophesied to me on Sunday, he's very quiet. I'm feeling peace now. I'm feeling, I'm looking at myself, say, I'm a woman being now. Because if you look, if you look at me, let's say, I'm be, if you ask it to me that, what are you doing here? I'll be beating you every day. And be mash you, I'll be doing anything I want. You're not going, you are doing what here. I want different women. I don't want, I know I like to see you again in this house. What are you doing here? I'm here to look in you like this. I'm not doing anything because I know that I cannot go. There is nowhere you put me in. I, 
I don't know anything. But so, now I'm a woman now. You are a woman now. Yes. You too, you are delivered now. Yes. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So the, the first time you installed Emmanuel TV in your house, you say your husband came, he saw it, and he beat you. Yes, the day that I discovered Emmanuel TV, ha, this man wanted to kill me that day. But through Emmanuel TV now, God deliver him. You have, yes, and through Emmanuel TV now, you have a deliverance. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. So now... Your eyes are open, unlike before when you didn't know where you were. You didn't know you were in a cage as a result of the charm. Your husband had charmed you when you met him as a witch doctor. Now your husband is delivered. You are delivered. How do you see, how do you see him now? I'm very happy to see him because I know that the behavior is not normal. Is the... Uh, is now I, I love I, I, I fall in love again with him and look at my husband and my husband now. Cette femme déclare que dès la, depuis la délivrance de son mari, elle est devenue normale. Elle aime son mari. Alors on continue l'histoire. Il dit que à l'âge de 14 ans, lorsque son père est mort, il est allé au village et les anciens ont commencé à pratiquer des rites occultes pour l'initier, pour prendre la relève. On continue le témoignage. Et il dit. Immédiatement, lorsque les anciens ont commencé à l'initier, ils l'ont conduit au bord de la mer, ils l'ont fait prendre un bain rituel et l'esprit de divination l'a possédé. Ok. I know that the first time is not my husband because I'm that first time I've been married and Junju is no because he's not behave like a man, the human being. But now it's a change. Now this is my husband now. Hmm. So with what you have passed through, your experience, your level in the occultic world, and now you are delivered, looking back at where you are coming from, what advice do you have for people who are listening to your testimony now? And for those who are still engaged in that occultic practice out there, what word of advice do you have for them? My advice will go first for parents that I was not fortunate to grow from a Christian home. That any parent, because of their selfish ambition and selfish project, you should not include their children into it because my father put me to this thing without my knowledge. That's a first for parents. Secondly, for my colleagues all over the world, they are watching me now. I know. Because if the head has fallen, it means that everybody must succumb. It's time that we must put our arms down to focus, to know the truth, for the truth to set us free. But the truth has been hidden for so long, but this is a day that I, Bui Ignacio, is standing before the whole world, talking that I have tired. I've tried the other side. For a week now, I've tried this side. I've tasted it. It's reliable. So they should change. God is reliable. 